to Fitting FX where I'm gonna show you today how to create the VHS look, the VHS effect. Now this tutorial I made it some years ago, I think a year or two years ago actually, <laughs> but anyway, uh, there were some problems with it. First of all that I made it on After Effects CS5 I think and now we have After Effects CC 2017 and some effects have changed and so and also the software was in Spanish, this time is in English, so you don't have to care about looking for the effects, translating the names and so. And also uh, some people ask me about the fact that if they're making a film and they want to put some shots on VHS, do they have to take all the shots and do all the process for putting the VHS look and so? Well, I'm going to show you also how to fix that, how to um make like a pattern let's say so that you don't have to put all the effects one after another for making the vhs effect that you that you just have to uh change the the main file let's say anyway you'll see later we're going to drop our footage on our on a new composition and this is a footage from a short film that we're working on it's called ebony boombox and uh it will be online between August and September, I think, in my Thunder Zebra channel. I will leave it in the description in case you guys want to see it. So the very first thing that we will do is pre-compose this uh, video. We're going to pre-compose it. Um, we're going to move all attributes into the new composition. We will call this original footage, for example. So that in the future, if we want to add some effects into this, uh, we want to maybe uh, stabilize the the footage or we want to add, I don't know, an explosion, whatever effect, we just have to go into this original footage pre-composition and we didn't have to, you know, care about anything else. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is go to the composition settings and this video is in 4K, so I'm going to put it down the quality a little bit. I'm going to put, I'm going to put it on 1080. Actually, uh, VHS footages were in 480 I think something like that they had a really really low uh, quality but uh, if you want to leave it at 720 or 1080 it's okay so I'm just going to leave it like that I'm going to click on the footage and hold Control alt and press F so that it automatically uh, scales the the video or you can just right click on here go to transform and fit to composition all right, so we're going to add a new adjustment layer. Oops, over here. I remember that the first time that I read this, I said a judgment layer, and a lot of people were having fun in the comments because of that. So we're going to add a new contrast effect, brightness and contrast. And some people were asking me why when they use the contrast effect, there's no difference almost. That's because you have to check this use legacy option and you will see here difference you can put maybe I'm gonna put a high value actually 30 and then I'm going to duplicate this effect and put here minus 20 uh, maybe you don't see the big difference but if you actually go over here on the shades and you disable the layer you will see the difference you will see that how uh, it takes the quality down especially here in the in the shades there are a lot of details that disappear and so and this was something very typical from uh, VHS footages you can you know this is totally up to you you can put maybe a very high value like 50 or something like that and put over here minus 30 or you can just put 20 and minus 15 this is totally up to you up to the kind of footage that you want to have so okay uh, now you can also add a glow effect. Actually, this is a really bright uh, shot But if you're having a darker shot, you will see the difference. You can put the threshold a little bit up The radius also up. I'm gonna take the intensity down because on uh, on the VHS footages this was something very peculiar that they all had like a glow effect on top I don't know if you guys have ever seen one so we're also going to add another layer, another adjustment layer. Um, actually, this one, I'm going to disable this one by now. I'm going to take a tint effect. Oops, I hit the microphone. We're going to take the tint effect. 
and now we're gonna take a Coolorama effect. Now this was, this was something totally new that I didn't did in the previous tutorial. We're gonna go to Output Cycle, we're gonna take Ramp gray, and now we can play around a little bit with the color. Uh, for example, we're going to add over here a dark green effect, something like that. Maybe more close to green, something like this. And over here, we're going to add a bright yellow, something like that. And now we're going to take this one and put it on soft light. And you'll see how that changes the color, changes the tone. Well, now with this, it looks a little bit like a matrix <laughs> uh, color correction. And you can put it also, you can try hard light. But this was a little bit the kind of uh, color correction that VHS footages had. Some of them, instead of black, they will have like a blue tone, something like that. You can, you can barely see it. But anyway, when we apply the other footage, I'm going to put a little bit down the, the intensity of the glow. We can see how it's starting to look different. Now we're going to pre-compose the whole thing. And we're going to call this uh, contrast, for example. And now we're going to duplicate the, the uh, pre-composition that we just created. Um, I'm gonna show you two ways of creating the color displacement. The, the more basic, there's one really basic, that is putting this one into color mode here. And just taking the position, putting it somewhere over there. And then, then taking a fast blur and adding a fast blur to it. And what this does is basically it takes the color out, it takes the color like it's displaced and VHS footages had a lot of color displacements this is again up to you same you can put a lot of displays you can put just a little bit and this is an easy way of creating this kind of uh, color displacement but there's another one that I like the most because you can play around a lot with it is duplicating the layer and going to shift channels and we're going to duplicate two times this layer. We're going to take the first one, green full off, blue full off. The second one, well, we're going to put the three of them to, uh, what's it, here, add mode. Add and add. The second one, red off and blue off. And the last one, uh, red off and green off. And now, we have uh, the three, the RGB channels, we have them displayed so we can play around with, uh, with the color aberration. We can take the, posi the position of the three of them. We can put this one over here and this one over here and we can displace the, the channels, you know, the colors. And what we're going to do is we're going to now take the three of them, pre-compose them, we will call this RGB split and now we will set it to color mode so that it doesn't it doesn't look like this like uh, I don't know this is a little bit amateur but if we put it on color mode uh, where's it here it looks pretty different it looks much better and we can even add a fast blur to it and we can see here how on one side it looks more red and the other side looks blue and there are different ways that we can play around a lot for example we can take the position of both of them and putting for example moving only the green channel so it creates this kind of look that is green and pink that was also a uh, pretty common in some footages oops here and we can see how it changes but I'm going to leave this one, I like this kind of uh, color operation. Alright, so we're going now to add a new adjustment layer. And we're going to add the unsharp mask effect. And what this does is it brightens up the pixels. 
but we want to take the radius really up like something like 10 so that it really sharps the image this was something very typical from VHS footages also it was it works better when you have a, a low quality video like at 480 or something like that but anyway it still work on the um, on the 1080 version and now is when the magic the true magic comes is <laughs> when we add the the footages the overlays that it's what uh, really takes this the essence of the VHS so we're going to double click I'm gonna go into our uh, the the folder where I have my footages now uh, these footages that you can see over here I already uploaded them they are in my very first tutorial not in my first video not in the first video of the channel but on the first tutorial so I'm gonna get this backtracking uh, folder I'm gonna click the first one check on GPG sequence and import now I'm going to drag it here and we will see that uh, it's not long enough and we're going to control alt f and now what you might think is that well I'll just duplicate it and go like this no but there's a better way to do that and it's going here right click interpret footage main and here we're going to loop 100 times and you can just drag this until the end of your composition and now you can put this into soft light I don't know if you can see the difference just a little bit or you can put it on hard light on hard light you can more see the difference you can more see how it looks like uh, all footage also you can for having even a better effect you can see this is actually a too sharp image because it's at 1080 again so you can go here and just add a fast blur effect I'm putting it maybe two something like that maybe even more three so that we blur the image and then it looks here more accurate it looks better like that and um, you can do also some adjustments for example once you have everything you can pre-compose these two I'm going to pre-compose them and color displays and now I can duplicate it and I can take the rectangle tool over here put a small mask over here and now I can take the this uh, the pan behind the anchor point tool and we can move it down something like that more or less we can feather it up a little bit actually feather it just a little bit, that's too much, maybe two something like that and you could try different footages for example uh, this one, the very bad tracking, I love this one so we're going to import it put it over here, we do exactly the same as the other one, interpret footage, main loop 100 times and we can put this on a where is it soft light maybe we can put it down oops put it down over here and this looks better now um by the end there's only one more thing that we can do if you want it's just taking a text and maybe putting here the the date and so so we can write for example 5 May 1987 and we'll take white color put it down take a font that looks like a VCR or VHS and we're going to put a little bit of stroke that's too much something like that maybe even less maybe 8 and we can put it over here or over here also gonna add a fast plot to this one
maybe 1.5. And this is the basic way of creating a VHS effect on After Effects. Now, uh, what happens if you want to keep this effect and you don't want to repeat the wall process with uh, one footage and another wall? What I usually do is that, uh, I should have told you before actually, <laughs> uh, going to your, the very first this the original footage what I usually do is taking the com the composition settings and put in like one minute long I make a very long footage so that all these footages they all they all are one minute long and I will go to file save as and we can save this as a pattern so now I have here this uh, pattern this copy and when I make a new film, so we start new film. We have here in, the, in our new film we have the After Effect projects. And now we take the pattern. We go into here, and we have here the we, we can now duplicate it the pattern, and we can take here first uh, raising boombox. Now we double click on it, and all we have to do is just go in here, right click, uh, replace footage, and we can replace with any other footage that we have. Uh, we can go to original, and for example, this one over here. Well, that one is actually too small, and we don't have to do anything else because we already did all the process, and now we save this one. And again, if you want to do it the same, control C and control V, you copy the pattern and you say this one, number two, shoot out, and you do exactly the same thing. You just have to right click on here and, uh, in, and uh, replace footage with file and replace it with any other file. Of course, some shots, for example, this one, the other one was really bright and this one is uh, really dark. So you will have to do some adjustments to it. Maybe you will have to go here to the to this adjustment layer and take the exposure effect, put it on top and brighten it up. Something like this. So this was basically the idea, I hope that uh, you like it and I hope that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Let me know if there's any other thing that I could possibly help you with, any kind of effect that you would like to reach. And I really hope that I see you in my next tutorial. So, see ya!